Now at 430, we continue to track tropics as Hurricane Barrel moves through the Caribbean. And that's not the only system in the Atlantic. Another one is following closely behind Barrel. Let's get to first warning meteorologist Cam Tran tracking it all for us. The good news is the system that's falling behind Barrel looks like it's weakening, so we're not too concerned about that right now. But Hurricane Barrel still a category four hurricane. It weakened at the two o'clock advisory with winds of 155 miles per hour. Cat five status would make it 157, so it's just shy of cat five status moving to the west northwest at 22 miles per hour and I want to show you Hurricane Barrow is actually the earliest category five hurricane that's developed in the Atlantic Basin. It formed July 1st and it, the second earliest is Emily that developed on the night of July 16th. So again, a very historic storm, many firsts with this system. It's a powerful hurricane that continues on its westerly track through the Caribbean where it's expected to move over Jamaica by tomorrow as either a category four or category three hurricane and then continues its westward track towards the Cayman Islands. Thursday as a category two, making landfall over the Yucatan as a category one hurricane and then entering the Gulf of Mexico. One of the biggest impacts we could see with Jamaica on top of the winds will be the rainfall. Look at how much rain they could see from barrel upwards of a foot of rain in some of the mountainous terrains, and we could see some flooding with this. So we're watching this very closely. I'll show you the wind impacts with barrel and a closer look at our forecast here at home coming up in just 15 minutes.